Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 8th of January. No, February. <laughs> oh, I did so well this week. Thursday, the 8th of February, 2018. Okay, so this week I kind of have a theme. I've been working with Brian and Wendy Freed cards, part of the Fairy Oracle. I think they're still available if you want to get them. I did see some actually on UK eBay, quite cheap. So have a look if you're in the UK. They are great, I have to say. So, we have had a theme this week of light and shade, of longing and looking forward, yin and yang. Let's have a look where we're going with this today. Thursday the 8th, Bally Bobs joins us. Wrong way. <laughs> there she is, as ever, asleep. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. We really are getting these polar opposites. These are no exception. I love this card. We get the green woman. There's such strength in this card, the way her hair is like ivy. And ivy is such a strong plant, isn't it? And her neck is just like a tree. And then the branches are kind of coming out the back of her head. This is about, about greening. It's about um, blooming where you are. It's about whatever that is. Ooh. <laughs> it's about, and I don't know if you can use virility for a female, but I'm going to. Um, there is the green man, of course, which is like an archetype from lots of different traditions. It's also about the strength of aligning yourself with the universe, with trees, with that kind of intelligence. And again, I'm into my, I'm thinking of poetry and I'm thinking of Dylan Thomas and I'm thinking about the Green Fuse poem, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> but I know that you will and I know that Joanna does. So Joanna, leave a comment, let us know what the title of that poem is. Thank you very much. And then in the opposite, we have the heartless love. And this is someone who stalks the forest like a wraith, looking for a heartless love. And we have had the lot this week. We've had Billy Idol, haven't we? The Prince of Shadows. We've had the Paradox. What else have we had? We've had Queen of the Night as well. Again, this person, is this fairy, is blue, it's longing, it's also in the forest but being very separate from the trees, very separate. This can be urban, this can be the street, this can be lampposts, this can be wherever you're walking in your day. It's stalking a memory rather than getting stuck in and greening, blooming where you are, taking part feeling that fuse lit. Let's have a look at some cards. Ooh. Yep, I'll use these. It's force versus memory. And sometimes if we live too much in the past, or if we're too reflective or introspective or thinking about something or someone that didn't happen we drive the force backwards and we were talking again earlier about taking two roads one of them could be that backwards step oh yes oh that is good Okay, I like this. Seven of Pentacles, or as they call it, the workman leaning on his hoe. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> no pawn tash with this one, in fact clean shaven for the Rider Waite because this was way before the 70s originally. But this person is contemplating the crop or how far they've come, but it is pentacles. It's real, tangible, empirical, touchable. So is this. This is also mystical, but at the same time, very, very... What's the word for that? <sighs> It's that grr. I think you know what I mean. We're going to do it by sights and sounds. And then we have the Six of Wands. And again, this is moving forward, moving forward. It's almost a victory. I feel like we're climbing out of this. Whew. Climbing towards that partial solar eclipse. And look, Five of Cups in reverse. That's the heartless love. That's someone mourning, that is contemplating spilled cups, that is sadness, sorrow. All of that kind of shadow side that we've been looking at this week. I feel like tomorrow we may turn a corner with our cards. Oh, yes. Colette Baron Reed, we get round and round. I rather like this, not least because the colours and everything, it looks like a shell. I'm a sucker for a shell. I feel like the round and round is kind of related to this and to life cycles and to, at least in the UK, feeling a whiff of spring and just a whiff of things waking up beneath the soil. But at the same time, I feel like we're waking up too. And that's really exciting. You know, we talked the other day about how I feel that the year only really starts after that partial solar eclipse, the new moon in Aquarius on the 15th. Oh, yes. Guardian Angel, to those of you living in the heartless love side, appeal to your guardian angel. Know that you are looked after. Know that this is possible. But also with the spiral, send it up. And as you know, I always say, chuck it up to Mike. <laughs> Archangel Michael. <laughs> Off it goes. Off your plate, quite frankly. What you can't alter, put on the altar. See how it comes back. And in the meantime, do your greening. Love that. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates. Namaste, see you tomorrow.